In India, the Shakma people of Arunachal Pradesh state have been fighting for citizenship for more than six decades. They fled Bangladesh in the 1960s. Now there are more than 60,000 Shakmas in the state. This year, India's national government seems likely to finally grant some of them citizenship, but challenges remain. FSRN's Gayatri Parameswaran and Felix Gayatka met the Shakmas to hear their stories. <laughs> Bishma Mitra Chakma is returning home after a day's work on the fields in Dayan village. He's 58 and was born in Bangladesh. But this village in India has been his home for almost half a century. I don't remember clearly how old I was when my family migrated. I might have been about eight years old. There were so many of us, mother, father, four brothers and three sisters. I remember what my parents told me then. They told me that our houses had drowned underwater. That was because of a dam being built in Bangladesh. We couldn't live there anymore. In 1964, construction of the Kaptai hydroelectric dam displaced nearly 100,000 Chakmas. A large number of them sought refuge in India. Another reason why they left was religious persecution, says Bimal Kanti Chakma, one of the tribe's leaders. We are Buddhists, and it would be difficult to live in a Muslim country being non-Muslims. Before India's partition, we were citizens of India. After partition, the territory we lived in was handed over to East Pakistan. So religious persecution is another reason why we were compelled to migrate. We came to Arunachal Pradesh with due consultation with the Indian administration at that point. The Chakmas crossed over the border legitimately with valid migration certificates. And although their migration was legal, they were not recognized as Indian citizens. Sanjay Chakma lives with his family in a small hut in the village. His neighborhood is also home to many other Chakma families. Though Sanjay was born in Arunachal Pradesh, he doesn't feel at home here because he's a Chakma. Sometimes I am sad that I was born a Chakma. Sometimes I wonder why I am a Chakma. The other tribes in the region view us with such disdain. We are humans too, but we are denied the rights of humans, whether it is in official bureaucracy or something else. If you ask around, you will find enough cases of Chakmas being beaten up on the streets by people from other tribes. We don't get respect at the workplace. We have no other option but to endure how we are treated. Sanjay became a father to a baby boy a few months ago. Although he had all the right papers, he hasn't been able to get a birth certificate for his son. I had all the documents ready and I filled out all of the forms and I went to the office. But the officer in charge wasn't around. The notice board at the office clearly states that they have to be present on Tuesday and Wednesday to register birth certificates. The officer was never present on these days. We have heard that there is political influence asking the office not to issue birth certificates to Chakmas. In 1992, the national government affirmed that the Chakmas have a legitimate claim to Indian citizenship. Despite that, in 2004, the state government granted citizenship only to around 1,500 Chakmas out of a total Chakma population of around 65,000. The state government refused to comment to FSRN on the issue. Chakmas make up around 7.5% of the state's population, but local politics have kept the community marginalised. Chakma campaigners say that other indigenous tribes who have dominated local politics for decades view them as outsiders and criminals. But things may be about to change. Two years ago, India's national government formed a parliamentary committee to look into Chakma citizenship issues. Bimal Kanti, who is a member of the Committee for Citizenship Rights of the Chakmas, says the fight is ongoing. 
तो गवर्नमेंट से डायलॉग हो रहा है We are in dialogue with the government and I hope that the dialogue will be fruitful. Right now only a very few of us have voting rights, but this right has to cover many more people. We are also fighting to have the right to contest elections here. Include honge tabhi to pura milne wala hai. It's a big step forward, but it doesn't go all the way. The government plans to grant citizenship only to those chakmas who came to India between 1964 and 1969. According to government records that's just under 15000 people out of a current total chakma population of over 65000 the fate of refugees who came after 1969 is still not clear with Felix Gatekar this is Gayatri Parmeshwaran FSRN Arunachal Pradesh India